fight has already been so much fun to revisit. The team went tripping with Alaska Airlines two years ago, but it was so much fun that we finally had to bring you the stories. And you could tell it was pre-COVID when Tanya hugged the yeah, guy that yeah. she was interviewing. No I was like, oh, <laughs> but oh, don't you miss those days? I do. Hopefully we get back to it soon. Absolutely. And to Big White. Yes. Oh, my gosh, because they had a blast. Now, earlier, of course, we saw that the dogs took a sledding, and now we step up the game a little bit, and quite literally, because they had to step up into a sleigh. Mm -hmm. We got the tubing in. Now it's time for the horse-drawn sleigh ride. I'm here with Jim Long and these beautiful horses. Tell me about your, your horses here. Um, hi, uh, this is Ted and Luke, a uh, pair of Clydesdale geldings. Ted is five years old, Luke is eight years old. How many horses do you have? Four up here. Fargo and Oz are back in the barn having a day off. Just like Come this is in. a beautiful sleigh, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Do you have a lot of Hawaii families who come out to experience this? We do. We have a lot of Hawaiians. They, at Christmas time, there's a lot of families here. Last couple of weeks, we've seen a lot of families coming to Big White. Huge contingent of Hawaiians coming. Very popular. Love, very popular. Love we, to see them. What do they get to do? Because this is amazing enough, but there's some food involved. Hawaiians love there food. There is. They do. And that's where I see a lot of them. A lot of them come and do our uh, sleigh ride and dinner out the little cabin in the forest. So we offer uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, we offer a sleigh ride and brunch. We go out to a little cabin, do bacon, eggs, pancakes, mm. real Canadian maple syrup. During the day, we do a couple of half-hour sleigh rides, a couple of one-hour sleigh rides. The one-hour sleigh ride, we include hot chocolate. Oh boy. Gotta bring your own Baileys though. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> it's advertised as a traditional Canadian sleigh ride. <laughs> Gotta bring booze. Well, you know what? We have a back seat here. It's a shame to experience this alone. I know Big White is such a family resort, so if it's okay, I invited a family that's traveling with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Chris Latronic, your lucky day. I'm not bitter about you winning at tubing. Oh. Come on down. Jim, tell us about the experience. Where do you take people on your sleigh? We go down through the forest and just travel through the, the wilderness trails. A little cabin down there where we stop and on the one hour ride we have a hot chocolate down there and that's where we do the uh, brunches and the dinners. So Jim, what's your favorite part of this job? It's it's just meeting people from all over the world. We get people from everywhere. We get Australians, we get people from the UK, we get, uh, I've had people from Egypt, I've had, so it's just meeting people, learning about where they're from and, and all the fun things. Hey, Jim, this seems like a very unique, special experience. You get any uh, special requests, like uh, people getting married and stuff? Well, just in this last week alone, we've had a proposal. Um, last night, we had a, a very nice small wedding and our, again, the little cabin out in the forest was just a great place for a small reception and, and had a great time. The, uh, the bride and groom had their first dance as the fireworks were going off and they were dancing out in the snow under the fireworks. Jim, that was amazing. Thank you so much for taking us all out. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for coming and joining us here at Big White Ski Resort. Love having you guys. All right. I think we have more to explore. Thank oh, you. This okay. is a highlight. You go. You're very welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> So much fun, and this was filmed a couple years ago. I know mm -hmm. we want to remind everybody that this was literally in 2019 before the pandemic, and there is one more Latronic now. Yep, <laughs> she wasn't even a, maybe even a thought at this point. Can yeah. you believe it? Now they're a family of four. So so cute, so fun that they got to explore and do that adventure together. Have you ever been to a place like that? No. Yeah, That's I amazing. I. I've been snowboarding. You know, I, I, have not. I grew up going to Big Bear, Lake yeah. Tahoe, Mammoth, um, but there's there's not those other fun activities like yeah. the the dog sledding or the sleigh rides. That's amazing. Yeah, there's so many fun things to do there. I'm hoping that we can get back there uh, again to maybe give an update on what's going on up there. But uh, so much fun to be able to see the fun that they're having, um, and kind of relive it again. It's it's really it's really neat. And as the snow is falling too, it just looks so magical, so beautiful.
Yeah. And those little sleigh rides are romantic. It just looks so cold. Though. I know. Ah. Well, that's why you got to bundle up. They have their cute little big white yeah. beanies on, and they're good to go. And they have a jacuzzi in their room, too. If you miss that, you can catch that on uh, k 22 I did miss that. That's amazing. In their own room. It's a private jacuzzi. Fancy. Isn't that great? It's part of the hotel, too. It is part of the hotel, wow. yes. The suites have them. It's pretty, pretty Very unreal. nice.